Can't How we getting down to that? Guess who I got? Gotta thank God that I made it. things happen. I don't know what these nuts. What's up, Dashy? What's good? Hey, I gotta get a uh, Uber inspection on that Jeep right there. Yeah, you guys, he's good, he's good, yeah. He, yeah, I know, I didn't see him. Yeah, he's a cool dog, he just... <laughs> Look at him, he's like, hey! I know it. That's Dashy, man. He loves Dashy loves people, man. That's a people pet. I know it. I know it. He can't run out of nowhere like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. That's cool. That's cool. Let me go get the papers and I'll be right back. All right, I tip too, my man. All right, tip. All right, cool, cool. Dashy, like, man, I love people. <laughs> All right, cool, cool. There's a cool Jeep right there. Check that Jeep out. I know you want to go get in that Jeep, huh? Let's go check it out. Let's check it out. Ooh, I remember back in the days when I was stock like this. I used to love it. That thing was riding so smooth like a Cadillac. Where you going, bud? Come on. Let's go. You all over the place, man. You all over the place, bud. Come on. Oh, all right, they on the Jeep now. Let's go. Let's see, look at him. He's ready. Hey, this is really nice, man. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, I, man, I've been working on this Jeep for three years, man. I've been building this thing right in the driveway, man. Oh, man, this nice, bro. It oh, it, bro. oh, man. I, I don't put supercharger on this thing and everything, yeah. man. But I was like, that's what I do, man. I'll tear some shit up. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I like that Cherokee over there, though, that Jeep, man. Oh, yeah. That's that inline. That's the engine everybody yeah, want right there, man. That's, that's that engine. Yup, yup. It's like if anything ever happens to this little 3.8, I'll probably pull one of those and throw it in here and see what happens. Yeah, yeah. And this is a manual, so I want if the bell housing will fit on the transmission and everything, but I don't know. I'll get it figured out. Y'all got some slam trucks over here, and you got that Chevy with the LS. Yeah. I'll take both of them engines, man. <laughs> Any, either one of those will work. Either one will work. I like that. What year is this one? Uh, 2011. Yep, the old school man. That's yeah, Wrangler, right? Yep, Wrangler. Yep, yep. Right, and then how many miles approximately? About two hundred and fifty-three thousand. I'll be rolling, man. What you looking at, Dash? What you looking for? What you looking for? <laughs> Oh, that's a nice Jeep right there. Woo, that thing is clean. This is what we do. All right, guys, let's go in here and let's pay for this. We're in the stone. This is my guy right there. That's my guy. All right, Dashy, let's go, let's go. What's good, brother? All right, you got the, cool, cool. You got the receipt? All right, cool, I'm gonna slide. Slide you ten, man. Hey, you know what? A lot of people take care of us when we tip, so you know I, I show the love back, man. You know what? All right, no problem, man. Y'all be easy out there. Next time I come up, man, I have to bring the big truck up. <laughs> All right, but man, y'all be easy, brother. All right. Let's go, Dad. Ooh, we're done. Let's get out of here. Listen to that. That's what's up. These guys always got big trucks up here. I love it. But you know what? That's what I do. I tip people because we get taken care of pretty well. Ah, dashy yards get up under there, huh? Go, come on. 
Let's go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, I always tip people. You know what? I, I slid him 10 just because. And I know a lot of people be like, man, he didn't do nothing but just inspect your car. It's not about inspecting a car. It's about me taking up people's time sometimes. Yeah, those guys are pretty cool. I always come here every year. I've been coming here every year since I've been doing Uber. And, and I always tip every time. You know what? I slide them 10 bucks. Because it's not about the $10. It's about the fact that I like their personality. I mean, these guys, they love, you know, Jeeps, cars, whatever. They're guys that work in garages. I take care of garage guys. Because I'm a garage guy myself. So, you know, sliding them 10 bucks, you know, that's lunch for them. Probably some dinner, some, you know, a couple of bucks in their pocket for a soda later. That's why I take care of people. My, my passengers take care of me, and trust me, I pay it forward. So I appreciate all my passengers out there that tip me, because this is what I do. I pay it forward. So that's from y'all, really, taking care of that guy. Had to drop my buddy off at home. He was kind of overheating. He was a little excited today. He got out and was hanging out with everybody. He was a little excited. So he was kind of panting. I was like, let me get this dog home. He's in there laying on the floor right now, about to pass out. The other dog sniffing them all in the head and everything. But, yeah, no, nah, but that's, you know, we take care of people, you know what I'm saying? Those guys, they, they deal with my trucks and my cars every year. Whenever I need an inspection, I just take it to Cobblestone right there on Elliott and the 10. They'll take care of you. They do Uber inspections, Lyft inspections, and it's only 20 bucks. That's it, 20 bucks, tip them 10, $30 ordeal, I'm good for the next year. I mean... You know, 12 bottle by 30 is less than $3 a month. So I don't mind giving them guys a $10 tip. They take care of me for a whole year because for the next year, I'm going to make bank. And you know what? When, when I'm getting tips from all these customers, I think about guys like that. You know, they're down there giving the best customer service they can give. Smiling, laughing, carrying on. You know, they're instructing you on how to get things done as far as where you got to pay and all that. You know, they doing, they do pretty well. So I don't mind taking some of the tips that my, my clients give me and passing them to them. Cause I'm a customer of theirs and I want them to see my Jeep pull up and my car pull up and be like, this guy's good. I like him. He's good. Cause on everything I'll tip him. And it ain't about, oh man, I'm not tipping, you know, more than the damn service or I'm not tipping this and that. Oh, they, if they want to get paid more than get another job. I, I'm not like that. Everybody knows how I am. I take care of people that take care of me. And that's just how it is. It ain't got nothing to do with how much it costs. It's how much do I value them? That's what it's about. How much do I value your time? And I value that time. So guess what? Here's a tip. Take this 10 bucks. You know, enjoy your lunch on me. I, I appreciate you looking out for me. And that's how we roll. You know, I'm not one of them Uber drivers that, that's out just to chase money all day and to keep it. Nah, I take care of people that take care of me. As I'm driving around taking care of everybody, oh, they're like, dude, here you go, here you go. I return that back to the universe. That's the energy I'm giving back, energy I'm returning back. And hopefully when I go out driving tonight, damn, that was loud. Hopefully if I go out driving tonight and tomorrow, you know what, I run into some good customers. I don't want to run into them cheapskates that be on our, you know, YouTube page just talking smack. Oh, I ain't got to tip you. You, I'm not, I'm not required to tip you. You know, I don't like dealing with people like that. I don't. I just don't. That's not my energy level. Like I said, low vibration people will keep you down. So I don't, I don't deal with them. I look for higher vibration people. When I pull up and I get a service done like I just had, I'm a higher vibration person. I come in. I want to bring the room up with me. I'm happy. We having a good time. I got my dog. I'm not looking for a deal. I'm not looking for a discount. I'll pay more because it's not about how much all of this costs. It's how much do I value you. That's what it's all about. And when people start understanding that, we live in a whole nother world. We, we in another universe than most of these cheapskates are living. That's why I don't deal with cheapskates. I'll eat them on planet Earth. We up in the stars, baby. That's how we do.